What's up YouTube, it's your boy Red Chris of 102. As you know, today is a special day, September 13th at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. I'm in Virginia, by the way, New York, Canada. Is the Nintendo Direct. All the rumors, all the speculations of a Nintendo Direct was coming, was true. You know, people were speculating, people were doubting. Hey, I heard there's a Nintendo Direct coming. It's not an Nintendo Direct coming, but come to find out, guys, it's, yes, it is true, a Nintendo Direct was coming. I, myself, guys, me, I did not know there was going to be a Nintendo Direct. I heard the rumors, but then I looked up, went on YouTube, everybody kept talking about these Directs and they had sources and all that. And at one point, it got, I heard it got delayed, but here we are. Today is a Direct Day. For Nintendo, Nintendo Direct today, September 13, 2022, 10 o'clock my time if you're on the New York side and 7 o'clock if you're on the west side, which is like California. Go ahead and Google that information. I'm not too good with time zones, but I'm pretty sure I do have it correct for you this morning. Now, there's a lot of speculations going on around what games are Nintendo going to show you know, I heard they supposed to show Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 gameplay. Um, a trailer that's supposed to have a Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 blowout. And also Twilight Princess and Zelda Wind Waker. They're going to show that. So we're going to have a Zelda blowout or, excuse me guys, speculation, a Zelda blowout. That includes Breath of the Wild 2, Twilight Princess HD remaster. And Wind Waker remastered. So those games were, those remastered games were were on the Nintendo Wii U, and supposedly they're supposed to be ported to the Nintendo Switch as a double pack, or maybe sold separately for sixty dollars, forty dollars. I don't know. I guess we'll find the price out. Games like Twilight Princess and Wind Waker, you know, well, I, I, honestly, I'll sell it for forty dollars. But you knowing Nintendo, they might go a full sixty. They sold Skyward Sword for sixty dollars brand new. You can get it for fifty dollars if you wait here and there on the sale. But we'll see. But you know how Nintendo do, guys? They love to sell their old games at a premium price versus you know like other companies. They might sell your old game for like thirty dollars. But hey, I know it's Zelda we're talking about here, right? Alright guys, so what's your thoughts and pred predictions? Um, a lot of people are saying a new Fire Emblem game, F-Zero, Metroid, you know, stuff like that. But I don't know, I don't know. But one thing I, I love about these Nintendo Direct guys, I really like how when Nintendo's doing a Direct, they'll say, hey, this game is available for download right now whether it's a demo or a full price game i love how nintendo does that so my predictions guys actually i don't have any predictions i'm just going off what everybody else says the last couple of directs weren't all that great people look forward to them every time though i mean i guess i get a little bit into the hype too i get a little bit excited because come on guys hey it's nintendo man like nintendo makes the best direct they're the ones that came out with the direct idea now sony has state of play and microsoft have whatever they have you know but none of their directs is better than nintendo directs nobody can do a direct like nintendo so what's the runner up guys fire emblem breath of the wild 2 twilight princess wind waker I've heard about the F-Zero GX on um, they're bringing that back and Metro 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 Prime the first Metro Prime HD remaster that'll be dope um you know but you know though guys man Fire Emblem is cool and all that man but Nintendo need to give some of those IPs a rest now and dig deep into their bag they need to bring back Kid Icarus. We need a brand new Kid Icarus. Even a 2D side scroller Kid Icarus would be awesome. Followed up by a 3D brand new 3D Kid Icarus, and also too they can remake remaster the one that was on the uh, the 3DS. I definitely play that again. It was kind of too hard to play on the original 3DS. My hands were just cramped. Um, Metroid is always welcome. 
Metroid is always welcome. Like, I would love to see a new Metroid game. And we should have been had a Metroid trilogy, actually. I don't know what's taking Nintendo so long, but since Metroid Prime, the original one, was my favorite one, and it was arguably the best one, Part 3 was good as well. Corruption, I didn't care too much about 2. Corruption was pretty was decent, but the first one, to me, that really did it for me. So, just having Metroid Prime HD remastered, alone that'll be cool but i also love to see another 2d metroid game but i wouldn't i wouldn't want mercury steam to do it i think nintendo should despite the award that it won you know um i would love to see another studio take a crack at you know 2d metroid i would love to see another 2d metroid i love the 2d metroid game so another 2d metroid game would be awesome and you know it'd be dope why not remaster or remake bro remake metroid uh metroid 2 nintendo read that metroid 2 for the 3ds so that would be cool if we got a port for that and also see a brand new 2d metroid alongside metroid prime hd remake and i also like to see some gameplay footage of metroid primes 4 you know what i'm saying to whet our appetites and star tropics I love to see Nintendo Resurrect Star Trap is the old NES games. Um, what's up for Punch Out Nintendo? Can we get a new Punch Out? I would love to see a mature Punch Out with like realistic graphics. That'd be dope. Um, my Arms Two would be good. Arms again. That's a dope title. You know that'll be cool. I really like Arms. Arms is a really nice and fun game. That was a really awesome game. It was a slept on game, but it was a really really good game. I loved it, man. Yes, it's fun when you play other people online, but the story, the story, the campaign was awesome. I loved it. Um, what else? Like, what's up with Earthbound? Not a big Earthbound fan, but it is an RPG, and I love RPG games. And who doesn't, right? Why not bring back um, Earthbound Nintendo, or bring back the Earthbound that you had for the Game Boy, and just remake it for the um, for the Switch, and for other games. You know, Astro Chain 2 would be cool, you know. But I would just love to see Nintendo just, just dive deep into their backlog and bring back those old IPs that they haven't used in years. But we need something new and fresh in Nintendo. And, but most importantly, guys, most importantly, and I already know they're not going to do this, but aside from the Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 news, speculation that is, my second priority is a new Nintendo Switch. Is Nintendo going to shed some light on a new and more powerful Switch? That's what I'm most really looking forward to. And I'm not saying that we're going to get it in a new direct. I'm just saying, guys, like, I just want... I just, I just want the new Nintendo Switch. It's, it's, Nintendo Switch is Nintendo is overdue for a more powerful Switch now, guys. The Switch has gotten long in the tube. I got the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck is great. It's cool. I love the Steam Deck, but I still like the Switch. I still, I, I still love my Switch more. I wouldn't put, I wouldn't say the Steam Deck is 100% better than the. The, but the Nintendo Switch, man. But come on, guys. Like, yo, the Steam Deck, yes, the graphics is a little bit better, of course. But most importantly, is the frame rate. I just love how with the Steam Deck, the frame rate, you can play 60 FPS with almost every single game, man. The better, the better, smoother frame rate is a hell of a lot better than what we get on the Switch. You know, if a Switch could play games in 60 FPS all the game, Switch. Still would be king. Well, the Switch is still a king. It's still the number one soul, number one most sold console for five and a half years in a row, and still going. The new Splatoon Switch came out, sold out. So Switch, Nintendo has nothing to worry about for right now. But if anything, Steam Deck shows, Steam Deck shows that hey, Nintendo people are willing to pay for a premium system, a premium handheld that can play. 60 fps game that has a, you know the, the, the almost same graphics caliber as you know the, the bigger console brothers you understand what i'm saying but yes we're overdue for a nintendo switch so it'll be cool if it is nintendo direct nintendo shed some light on a new and more powerful switch but i know they're not going to do that because they just released that splatoon 3 switch and they have more 
iterations of the Nintendo Switch OLED coming out, so that's a no-go. But my two main things that I'm looking for, honestly, to see at this Direct is Breath of the Wild 2 Blowout, just like they did with Xenoblade. And I also shed some light on the new, more powerful Switch with DLSS. We need a new Switch Nintendo, we need a new, more powerful Switch. If not this year, for sure, next year, we definitely need a new, more powerful Switch. So, alright guys, that's going to be it. I'm not going to talk for that long. There's plenty of videos on YouTube talking about Nintendo Direct. And I have to hurry up and upload this video before the Direct actually starts. I'm a little late to the party. So, you guys tell me in the comment section what games you would like to see at this Nintendo Direct. And what you're looking forward to. Red Crystal 102, out. For those of you that's new to my channel, you know what to do. Like and subscribe.